<clears throat> All right, man. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. I want to talk about Ice Cube today, and I want to talk about how Black America needs to wake up and stop trading on people because they have a difference of an opinion. Before I get into that, like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified. That thumbs up. If you don't, hit the thumbs down. You know what it is. Just be real. And if you want to donate the Cash App, link will be in the description. All right, man. Listen, Ice Cube. Ice Cube, Ice Cube, Ice Cube. Legendary Ice Cube, NWA Ice Cube. Ice Cube is a artist slash movie producer slash writer slash everything from California, from Cali. One of the biggest iconic artists, I should say, of the hip hop generation. Um, and he is one of the biggest, I would say, outspoken artists or outspoken producer, or outspoken person, black person, I would say, that uh, the black community has had in a long time. So Ice Cube came out with a plan. It's called, so Ice Cube uh, came out with a plan called CWBA. You know, um, look it up. Link that uh, I'll link that to the description. So basically, it's it's called credit uh, for Black Americans, black credit with Black Americans, and um, he went to the Democratic Party. He went to the Democratic Party. He went to the Democratic Party, and uh, they told him to wait till after the election. I guess the Biden campaign or the the, the Biden party told him to wait till after the election. He went to Trump, the Trump administration, and they worked on it right there with him. That speaks volumes. Now, see, here's my thing, right? Here's my thing. So let me get this right. A black man comes to you with a plan. And you turn it down and say, wait till after the election. And an artist, female artist, come to you who doesn't know nothing about politics. And you do an interview with her. Now, I know some of y'all like, well, how do you link the two? Why is that linked together? Because that just goes to show you that certain people in this party, Democratic Party, doesn't want black people to advance, period. And my reasoning why they wanted to wait till after the election, because they want to know if they're going to win a lot. They want to know if they're going to win or not. That's the reason why I believe that. Because if they feel as though they're going to win, they would have took that deal. I don't think they think they're going to win. So this is why they said to wait till after the election. I believe Trump is going to win and I believe Trump's going to win big. I believe Trump is going to win. And this is the reason why they went with it. Now, black people need to stop doing this. And this is how I feel. I'm black. Y'all got to stop believing that we all belong to the Democratic Party. Let's just say, let's just let's just keep it real. What Ice Cube did, Ice Cube is not a part of the uh, the Republican Party. He's not a part of the Democratic Party. Ice Cube is trying to do something for Black America, and he wants to know who's going to do it for Black America. It's not has it has nothing to do with him being a part of the party. If y'all gonna if they're gonna use us for our votes, then why can't we use them to get something from them? This is what Ice Cube is doing, and y'all make me so mad. Because black people feel as though that if a person works with someone, he's affiliated or you're part of that. Then, okay. Then stop stop doing this when it comes down to the Democratic Party. We all don't have to be a part of the Dem Democratic Party. Y'all act as if, like, we all has to be a part of it. If you're doing anything else besides being a part of the Democratic Party, then you are a coon. You are a slave. You are a, 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 what's your name? Whatever you want to call it. This is what makes me so mad when it comes down to it. 
Y'all act as if we owe the Democratic Party something. Ice Cube can't work with Donald Trump. That makes him oh, he, so he's he's canceled because he want to do something for Black America. So the Republicans never did anything for Black America. Donald Trump never did anything for Black America. Anything. Okay. So if that's the case, then what do you what do you what are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Do you supposed to be like you know what? I'm gonna wait until the Democrats feel as though they're gonna help us. Ask yourself, when was the last time the Democrat Party ever helped black people? Period. Let's ask that. And y'all see how, and y'all, I can't see how y'all defend these people. Y'all defend them. They don't care. Half the time, they don't remember. When I'm, I could almost guarantee you, when Ice Cube brought that plan to them, they probably didn't even know who Ice Cube was. A good percentage of them probably didn't even know who Ice Cube was. But still in all, They'll do an interview with Cardi B. That should tell you something right there. That should tell you how they really feel about us. They'll do an interview with Cardi B and Ice Cube has a plan to try to help black Americans and they turn it down or say wait until after the election and Donald Trump and his camp jump right on it. And I, 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 I hate when people say this. I hate when people say, well, you just doing it for votes. Listen, let me explain something to y'all. I'm going to be real clear. The jig is up, man. They don't need the black vote no more. I'm going to be honest with y'all. They really don't. Most black, a good percentage of black people is voting for Donald Trump e e anyway. So whether, whether people like it or not, if you on the other side and you asking yourself, why is everybody voting for Donald Trump? Maybe you need to go read about it. Because a lot of a lot of a lot of people you call coons and, and a lot of these people in the streets, they vote for Donald Trump. I would say a good a good a good portion of black people are voting for Donald Trump. And all y'all here saying, oh, uh, no, nah, black, uh, black America, ah, uh, systemic racism and voting for the same dude who. who, who who wrote the crime bill. <laughs> All right, man. I'm just saying, we need to stop criticizing each other and asking questions why. Because the first thing people did was, as soon as they found out that Ice Cube did something with uh, with Donald Trump, they they automatically canceled him. People automatically can't. I never seen nothing like it. Well, I did, but be honest with you, it's crazy. But they automatically canceled Ice Cube because Ice Cube said that he was working with Donald Trump and he worked with Donald Trump on a plan to help black America. And he tried to work with the Democrats and they told him no, wait until after the election. <laughs> y'all mad at y'all mad. Y'all mad at him because he he worked at what you don't listen. Ice Cube is a very, very, very intelligent man. Very intelligent. He's not stupid. And that's another thing, too that I, I need to talk about real quick, is that a lot of y'all believe that a lot of black people are stupid. Even black people, a lot of y'all black people don't think that we can actually do something on our own or run something on our own. I don't understand it. It's like Ice Cube do a, Ice Cube do a deal with Donald Trump or make a deal and he's trying to hold Donald Trump to it. That should tell you a lot. But y'all act as if like he can't do that. Oh, he can't do that. Why? He's not intelligent enough to do it. He don't know how. He don't know how to distinguish the difference between two things. He don't know how to do that. He clearly said when you watch his when you watch his, his vlogs or his videos, he clearly said that he did some digging, and it's a lot of stuff that's blocking Black America. So obviously he knows what he's talking about. He knows, and I'm sure he got lawyers. I'm sure he's not one of those people that just run up in there by itself and don't know what the hell he's talking about. I'm sure he got lawyers. I'm sure he got people who are on his side that is trying to benefit the, the help of the, uh, for the black black community. I don't understand it. I don't blame him. I commend him for doing that. In this climate right now, I, I applaud I applaud him. I applaud him for that. Because all y'all out here, everybody, all y'all all y'all media heads, 
all y'all celebrities who don't haven't done nothing for black America, hasn't done nothing for black America, hasn't tried to talk to anybody for black America, hasn't did anything. Only thing y'all do is get paid. Y'all get paid from these from these Democrats to promote for y'all. And y'all haven't done nothing. And the only thing y'all can sit to me uh, um, say to me is y'all canceling Ice Cube because Ice Cube is working with Donald Trump or worked with Donald Trump on a plan for black America. And y'all can sit here and say that y'all want to cancel him when you haven't done nothing for black America. I'm done. Don't listen. All you, all you Sean Kings, all you, uh, 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 who, who, uh, uh Jack A's, all you people turn your back. On y'all people, or turn your back on one of your people, you are just as racist as a, a white supremacist. If you turn your back on a on a brother or a sister who's trying to do something better for themselves and better for their community because they go against what you believe, then you're just as worse, you're just as bad as a white supremacist. I don't care what you tell me. You can't tell me nothing. You're just as bad as a white supremacist. You you contribute a part of systemic racism. Because that is systemic racism. Calling your brother a coon is a part of systemic racism. Period. So when y'all talk about, when y'all talk about, oh, uh, I can't believe this. Well, believe it. Believe it. Won't you ask why? Won't you ask why? Why don't y'all ask Ice Cube why was he working with Trump? Won't you say, hey, listen. Would you, so, so what was Trump offering? You know why? Because y'all afraid that y'all might get an answer that y'all might like. That's what it is. Y'all don't want to know. I always say this. It's a. It's like. It's like religion. It's like. It's like the Bible. It's like the Quran. It's like all of those books. I'm not a religious person, and I don't not. And I'm not saying anybody that believes in it, uh, you know, shouldn't believe in it. But I am saying that there are certain people who only believe in the Bible because that was they, what they were taught. So, if you ask them to ask and say, hey, well, listen, how about this? Or tell me this. They don't want to ever question anything because they feel as though that the only reason why they believe is because they were it was it was a part of their tradition. They don't even know anything about God. They don't know nothing about about anybody. They just know that it was a part of the tradition. And that's why they believe they don't believe because they actually believe in something and they know about it back and front, back and front. So listen, Ice Cube, slow clap, man. Slow clap. I give Ice Cube, I commend you 100%. You have my 100% support. Even if you had worked with the Democrats, brother, and you did it to help black America, you have my 100% support, bro. I don't care. I'm, I'm so sick and tired of us fighting against each other and don't know why. You don't know why y'all, most of y'all don't even know why y'all fighting against Ice Cube. Y'all just see Trump name and automatically cancel him. Don't even ask why. Oh, well, let me see. Let me, let me, let me, let me see. And then you know what? These media outlets, these news media outlets, these Chris Cuomo's and, and uh, Don Lemons and all these people, they trade on them. And look what happened. He had interviews. They canceled all the interviews because they don't want him to explain why. Because they're, again, I keep telling people this, these people are not journalists, they're activists. They work for the party. They work for that other party. That's what I'm saying. So they work for the Democratic Party. No matter what happens, they are always going to side with them. And they don't want him to explain something good because it's coming from a black man. So what they do, they suppress his voice. They'll, uh, you get, you'll get Michelle Obama who will run out there and say Donald Trump's a racist, but I guarantee you, Michelle Obama will not come out and say, well, let's talk about what Ice Cube did and how good it is. She loves black America so much, but I bet you she won't do that. I bet you Barack won't do that. I bet you none of these people who say that they love black America so much Knowing that Ice Cube didn't, he didn't, uh, um, he didn't side with Trump. They just worked with him on a plan for black America. And then like he came out and endorsed him. He's like, oh yeah, I'm endorsing Donald Trump. That's my thing. But you won't see none of these black, these black celebrities. 
They won't come out and say, oh, how was a good thing? You gonna might get a couple of them, but a good percentage of them, they're not gonna say nothing. They're not gonna say nothing because they want y'all to stay under that, that, uh, that fucking boot heel. They want y'all to stay under that. That's what it is. I'm happy for him, man. Congratulations, brother. Keep doing your thing and keep learning like me and keep waking up and see what it is for what it is, man. Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page, man.